So, uh, James, I wanted to ask you, obviously light is a very important thing at an optical astronomy, whether you have uh, too much light or perhaps not enough light from up there. I wanted to ask your opinions on light pollution mm, and yes. whether it affects the observatory. Well, I think the biggest light pollution is from the sun, and so we have to sort of avoid the sun. <laughs> the next thing that happens is the moon is here for half the month and it annoying. makes makes it annoying as well. But once those two sources are gone, what we can see from outside looking a long way away is the lights of towns and farms and a big glow on the horizon from Sydney and another glow from Dubbo and another glow from another town. And, and that glow of light, we have such sensitive instruments that we can actually pick it up and we can measure what colour of light it is, what, what chemical processes make that light. And so we know it's artificial light um, and so we have an area around here called a dark sky park where we have uh, regulations on what sort of lights you're allowed to put on your houses mm -hmm. and how to point them down rather than point them up and that mm -hmm. sort of thing. So yes, it, it is a big problem. It does constrain the science we can do mm -hmm. because if we're trying to pick up photons that have travelled thousands and millions of light years from somewhere else and we have someone shining a torch in our face right here, mm -hmm. it does become a bit of a problem. Yeah. How much has it impacted the observatory and the science you're able to do here by uh, turning this location into a dark sky park? It's made it possible to continue operating and to continue collecting science. Yeah. What we have to do is, is, is um, take measurements of the light that is not coming from a star and then take measurements of light from a star and then subtract the two to work out what light comes from the star. And so the more light there is in the surroundings, the less likely that is. Mm -hmm. We also occasionally cause our own light pollution when we leave a light on. Yeah. And one of our jobs as a night assistant is to wander around and find all the lights that someone might have left on and turn them off. Yeah, it sounds minor, but it's actually really, really impactful to the resulting science. A, a memorable one is a tiny little LED about three millimetres diameter, a little bit of black tape had fallen off and the scientist said, I've just taken a picture of the darkness and I can see some light and I can tell you it's green because they were able to look at their spectrograph and say it's green light and so we're able to go to the room where, which was meant to be dark and look around for a green light and sure enough there it was and we put a bit of black tape over it and kept going. Yeah, wow. Uh, I would love to ask you, what is one of your more memorable moments here? I think on the subject of light pollution, one of the most memorable moments is I went out onto the catwalk to check the weather because we can only rely on the computer so much. Mm -hmm. And I saw one of the stars moving and then another one right behind it and then another one. It's like this whole chain of lights going past sure. one by one. Yep and it just kept going on and on for almost half an hour, it seemed. Mm -hmm. And I looked at, at, at the map of satellites in the sky and it turned out to be one of those mega constellations of communication satellites. And then I checked the registry and, oh, okay, it's the one I use at home. Oh. So, oh, well, okay, uh, you know, if, if only we had fiber optic cable to every house, we wouldn't need these things, yeah, but absolutely. we end up needing them anyway. And have you noticed much impact on the science that you're able to do here or on the operations on, of the observatory in general due to this um, injection of satellites and mega constellations? Well, not at the level I work. Uh, all I do is deal with light sources that I can find and fix. Sure. Um, but the scientists, they certainly can evaluate the level of background light. And they have a project on every year where they photograph the light and, and check where it's coming from. So yes, it is an effect, but I couldn't quantify it myself. Yeah, sure. Well, we have spoken at length about all of this technology uh, that's used in order to support the actual telescope that's taking the images. So I think it's probably about time we go check out the telescope. Yep, sounds great. Great.